Hey guys, welcome to Cigars with Lady V. Today's review is going to be the Cremoir. It is a cigar from Chinook Cellar Cigars. I actually had the pleasure not long ago to talk with Brian Chinook at Match Cigar Bar when he was there. And man, what an honor. He is just a wealth of knowledge and just hilarious, very personable, which is something I love. Um, when you meet someone like that in this industry, some of them seem a little untouchable. Um, not him. I mean, he was just willing to sit and talk about everything and anything. They released their first cigar back in 2009. This one is their fourth cigar, and it is a Connecticut, and it's the only one they have. So, um, great cigar, great person, just, just a really good time. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this, and we'll talk about the first third here in a second. All right, so here we are, uh, first third of this cigar. Lights well, draws well. It's a beautiful construction on this cigar. Um, the wrapper has a, is um, pretty. Like, I don't really know how else to say. It's pretty um, in girl terms. I just love the color on this one. It's really nice. Um, is a creaminess to the cigar so far, and I do get a hint of the white pepper not overpowering which of course um, is a plus in my book especially when drinking a Chardonnay you don't really want anything too crazy that's gonna um, overpower your expensive glass of Chardonnay so I appreciate that on this one um, I'm gonna walk around and chit chat with some friends I've stopped by and uh, give some more input on the cigar in just a second Okay, so here in the second third, it is definitely bringing in the um, more creamy, nutty notes to it. Um, very enjoyable still. You do taste more of the white pepper now. I think now that I've kind of kind of gotten a little further into the cigar, um, it's starting to just have its consistency, I guess you would say. Um, it doesn't really seem like it's changing too much. Just like I said, just a little bit of a pickup on the pepper. I think that kind of thing is normal though when it comes with these cigar with cigars in general. Usually when you first light it, you, you know, it takes a little bit for you to really get the full effect of like what it's going to be so yep so far so good and everybody's having a good time I'm talking to a lot of people about this cigar um, it amazes me that a lot of people don't know about it but then again I think as far as industry goes cigars and wine are not what you think of a pairing you think of bourbons or whiskey or dark rum and being here in Kentucky or like I said just right over this bridge here in Jeffersonville Indiana um, of course everything is bourbon and I'm the oddball here because bourbon is not for me so <laughs> I'm really appreciating this cigar pairing well with this Chardonnay Okay, so we're into the final third, and it did stay consistent. It really didn't get hot. Um, I experienced that a lot with cigars, where at the end they either get hot or they get bitter, um, something like that. But with this one, it really didn't. Um, I feel like the nutty notes and the creaminess, uh, like I said, the white pepper, they all pretty much stay consistent. Nothing was too overpowering. Um, no major surprises. Just... Uh, a great cigar to pair with um like like i'm doing today the chardonnay i also think honestly that this cigar would not be bad with coffee i wonder if maybe the coffee would go well with some of the creaminess that's in it um and the nutty the little nutty notes that are in it i think those two would also complement each other if you're wanting to try this and maybe you're not a wine drinker um coffee i think would do well with this so yeah, overall, wonderful cigar. It was a great event. We had a great turnout. Music by Marvin was awesome. You will probably be hearing his music more in my videos. Um, he's a local artist here, and um, I just really enjoy his work, and it and he plays our shows and stuff. So I like to little plug our local people, um, the ones that deserve it, and he definitely does. So anyways, as always, I appreciate everybody watching, and let me know what you think of this cigar. 
All right, guys, back from Slow Down Sunday at Match Cigar Bar. Tonight was uh, a review based from Chinook Cellar Cigars. Uh, I smoked the Cremoir. It was an excellent cigar. Brian Chinook, who is the owner, he has um, cigars and he has a winery. So he actually had visited Match Cigar Bar a little, little while back, um, and he suggested this cigar to be paired with a Chardonnay. Brian is an, he's a hilarious dude on top of the fact that he's just like a whole wealth of knowledge. A lot of times when you meet, you know, cigar makers, things like that, they feel not as approachable. Brian was the complete opposite. So it was really great to be able to sit and just talk with him about the ideas um, that he got from with the cigars that were based off of basically wine um, and just really get to know him and know his product. So. Tonight, um, I gotta say, excellent, excellent cigar. The Chardonnay um, is typically a buttery, uh, it's a buttery drink. So with the Cremoir being kind of more creamy, it just paired wonderfully. Nothing in it was overpowering. And a lot of people would say, um, a cigar like this that stayed consistent, it was a creamy, nutty, had a little bit of white pepper with it, it stayed consistent. Um, people would think that that's not a good thing, but to me, it was perfect because you don't want something to pop up in your cigar while you're enjoying an expensive glass of Chardonnay. So in this case, I mean, it was an excellent choice. Um, he makes a wonderful product, great burn, which you will see in the videos, of course. Um, but hey, you can't beat the cigar. So my only complaint it needs to be in more places it's uh, lucky enough for me that it's at a local place that I do go to but I have been to some other ones lately and man I just wish that he would get those out more they're wonderful so anyways that is my opinion on that and there'll be more to come I'm sure but if you have any questions about it please feel free to message me you can visit my website at cigarswithladyb.com uh, and also my Instagram page. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for joining me for Flavor of the Month, and I'll see you next time. Bye.